Now, osteoporosis can cause a condition of the spine called kyphosis, and we have Dr. Bruce Ivanik in our 3D image. Doctor, can explain to us what kyphosis is and what we're seeing here. Absolutely, Kathy. So, um, we refer to the sagittal balance or the position of the human spine with a view from the side mm -hmm. as far as lordosis and kyphosis. So, for example, your lumbar spine normally has a backward bend. It's concave to the back, and that's called lordosis. Now, there's degrees of lordosis and kyphosis. Therefore, if this C-curve was less pronounced, we would say that it's kyphotic. But really, what's kyphotic is the thoracic spine, the middle of the spine, which is concave to the front. The bend is forward flexed. That's kyphosis. Okay. Now, imagine if one of these bones was to accordion down, and remember that the fractures occur more in the front of the spine than in the back of the spine. If you lose the anterior column or the anterior part of the spine yeah. in terms of its height, then the spine will start to sort of flex forwards. So like an will, angle. Exactly. And then that will result in what we would perceive clinically as kyphosis. Now, Dr. Regalaro made um, a, a great summary of the risk factors for compression fractures. And there's one that I'd like to add. It's history of compression fractures. Frequently we'll hear patients come in and say, I've had one, two, three, four different fractures. That's a big problem for our healthcare system because it's really doctor's responsibility once you see the first fracture to prevent future fractures from happening. Now look, osteoporosis, that's a medical problem. It needs to be addressed by proper diagnostic tests to know the degree, and that it needs to be addressed with proper medicines. Therefore, we can prevent progression of fractures or newer fractures from happening.